Mark Forged has become a leader in the fiber composites 3D printing hardware market, with yearly revenues exceeding $100 million. However, the company has faced patent infringement cases in both the metal additive manufacturing market against desktop metal and the continuous composites AM market against continuous composites. In July 2021, continuous composites accused Mark Forged of infringing on four patents. Yet recently, the United States District Court of, for the District of Delaware ruled that Mark Forged did not infringe on any of those patents, confirming that these claims were meritless. The outcome resulted from a claim construction proceeding where both parties presented the arguments of how the key concepts of each patent should be interpreted. Despite winning the legal battle, one recently added infringement claim comprising two patents still remains. Continuous Composites filed this patent claim in February of 2022. However, Mark Forge remains confident that it does not infringe on this patent and will continue to defend itself against the remaining claim. Australian company Speed3D is making waves in the world of metal 3D printing with their unique supersonic technology. Instead of using traditional methods such as laser powder bed fusion or electron beam melting, Speed3D printer blasts fine metal powder at supersonic speeds onto a target, causing instantaneous molecular fusion. This allows for the quick building of large metal objects as demonstrated by the company's ability to print a 629 gram copper hammer in just 372 seconds. Speed3D's process is also resistant to gravity effects, making it suitable for use in remote locations. It has attracted the interest of various militaries, including the Australian military and the US Navy, who's installed Speed3D's 3D printers on a Navy ship. Now Speed3D has partnered with the British Army to focus on using their supersonic printing technology to perform unplanned repair activities during two-year contract. This is a significant development for the world of 3D printing, as it indicates a growing interest in Speed3D's technology among various militaries. The ability to quickly produce metal parts from well-known metal alloys for real-time needs and in the field is critical for deployed troops. And the Speed 3D printer can provide parts finished in hours instead of days, reducing downtime and maximizing availability. The fact that multiple militaries are investing in Speed 3D's technology suggests that the company's supersonic printing tech could become a key player in the military industry. This could in turn lead to wider adoption of the technology in other industries, as has been the case with other 3D printing technologies. However, Speed 3D has the potential to revolutionize metal material manufacturing processes. Reality has announced a new K1 desktop FFF 3D printer series, which includes a base K1 model and the K1 Max. Both devices are 300 by 300 by 300 millimeters, Core XY machines, and can print at up to 600 millimeters per second, according to Creality. The K1 and K1 Max use G sensors to eliminate ringing or ghosting patterns on the surface of models caused by the high speed printing that they move at. And the K1 series has substantial networking, cloud connectivity, and remote control features with the ability to run production jobs using an array of K1s thanks to Creality's new array management software. The K1 Max has an advanced leveling accessory installed by default, including a LiDAR sensor that scans the bed and a strain sensor built into the tool head to achieve perfect leveling. The LiDAR sensor is projected to have almost a million points of contact or a 1000 by 1000 matrix on any bed. The K1 series also includes an AI camera system that can be purchased separately to detect print failures.